Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, in this one, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can use AVI DMUX to merge videos uh, the quickest way possible. So let's get into that. Um, I got this uh, few clips here that I need to merge. Those are from my Prince of Persia, the Forgotten Sense gameplay, and I got five of these. Um, each is a minute long and um, I just want to combine them because I uh, I don't need to do any sort of editing, apply any video filters or any sort of uh, stuff. So the quickest way in doing to do that in AVI DMUX is just open up. If you want to load the files in AVI DMUX, you can either use the open window, you can add files one by one using the append menu. But the way that I like to do is just quick. I like the way that I like to do is quickly just select these video files and just drag them here. And there we go. We have all the files. And let's let, let's quickly verify that we got all the files in. Yep. You can check the length of the video, it's coming back as 5 minutes uh, for 5 files, all good. Uh, the next thing you want to take a look at is the output format. So what sort of mux are you like to use? Uh, for me, I'm going to keep it as mp4 because um, that's the format I like them to be in. And the other two options are video output and the audio output. Now, if you don't need to do any sort of filtering, editing for the video or the audio, the best option is to keep it as copy, so there won't be any re-encoding of your video, and it will be super fast to combine them. Um, and that's it, basically. Then you hit save button, name your gameplay, and I'm gonna save. And done. It literally took a second to combine them. Let's go back. Here is the five minute video. I'm gonna open it up. There we go. Let's see. That was the uh, quickest way I could find to combine the videos using AVI DMAX. Um, there, there are other ways to do it as well um, when you have to kind of modify, sorry, not modify, but you kind of have to uh, do some sort of editing, like you would like to add some text, you would like to um, add some filters for your video. In that case, um, this copy one wouldn't work. You would have to kind of go ahead and choose a video filter, um, video encoder, and then you apply the filters, and then it's gonna re encode your whole video, which will take a lot longer than what it took right now. Yep, thanks for watching. Bye.